Hello and welcome in. I'll be discussing a feature within the Moblin app to add delay to both the inbuilt video and microphone. Ever since the 0.399 release on the 4th of May, this feature has been added as an experimental feature within the Moblin app. Here I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Here I have a Netgear Nighthawk M1. And here I have a DJI Action 4. The iPhone is already connected to the Netgear's Wi-Fi. And the Action 4 is already connected for RTMP into the Moblin app. So here we have the Moblin interface running on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Right now I have pixelated the scene only because I have the camera facing towards me and there might be a bit of an audio delay here. Right now I will add picture in picture widget that I have created for this scene and we will use the picture in picture along with the RTMP stream in order to sync both videos together. Right now you are seeing the camera from the front facing camera of the iPhone as the picture in picture as well as the camera angle from the Action 4 via RTMP. I'm going to clap now to determine the duration of the delay between the inbuilt camera and the RTMP stream from the Action 4. There seems to be about a three to four second delay between the inbuilt camera and the camera feed from the RTMP stream. All right, so straight away, we can minimize the delay between the RTMP stream and the iPhone. So we need to go into the RTMP server. We need to disable. We need to get into the DJI Action 4. And here, the latency, we can change it to the bare minimum that's recommended on the app, which is 250 milliseconds. Let's re-enable the server. Oh, we haven't enabled it. Okay. Okay, we have changed the delay from the Action 4 feeding into the iPhone 11 Pro Max via RTMP. So we do another clap. So that is about a half second delay between the front facing camera and the RTMP stream. Now we can use the experimental feature of adding delay to the inbuilt camera along with the inbuilt microphone. We will now go into the cog wheel and scroll all the way down to debug. Scroll all the way down to built-in audio and video delay. And just as a test, I will now change it to in order for these changes to take hold, we will need to switch to a different scene within the Moblin app. And now we need to switch back to the Action 4 scene. Okay. Now, let's do another test. So it seems now the inbuilt camera is still too fast for the Action 4. So we need to add more delay. Now we need to fine tune to make sure we get both video. Okay. Now as a test, we will now start to stream to the Bellabox Cloud. I'm now going to make sure that the front facing microphone of the iPhone is in use and not the Action 4 from RTMP. All right, this is now the stream coming in from the Moblin app pushing to the Bellabox Cloud. And as you can see, both camera angles are in sync. This is now the front facing camera, and then we have the action for as the picture in picture. 
This is now the Action 4 with the front-facing camera as the picture-picture.